Hey everyone, it's Lauren. If you clicked on this video, then you know it's about Clio's Pre-Law Summer Institute, so Clio PLSI. Um, I didn't see a lot of videos on the program when I was making my decision about whether or not I would participate this summer. So here I am making a video. We're gonna call this series Raising the Bar. Isn't that clever? <laughs> so that's what we're gonna call this series. Thinking about tracking my law school experience, my law journey through this, just to kind of, to help people out who might be having questions, especially because I know I was really looking for some reviews on YouTube about this program. And also to, I hope keep myself accountable because if I have this year, I'm sharing it with you guys, then I need to be on my P's and Q's, dot my I's and cross my T's. So um, keep watching. Previously, this program was in person at the actual institutions that were hosting the program, but this year it is virtual. Last year it was virtual. Um, there was a lot of success last year from what I've heard. And well, we're praying we're claiming we're claiming that this one is going to go great and i'm going to take a lot from this and it'll prepare me which i know that people always say you cannot pre really prepare for law school like you're never really fully prepared um this is just a little a little precursor a little preview um that i'm hoping to get Hey everyone, it's Lauren. This is an update to Clio's Pre-Law Summer Institute. I'm actually going into the second phase now. The second phase is four weeks long. The first phase was two weeks long, so I actually finished that on Friday. It's Sunday. It's Monday morning, really. It's 3 a.m., but I've been up doing readings. I wanted to make an update video a lot sooner. I was going to do one in the first three days, but when I looked over those videos, I was like, First of all, you're screaming at them, so I'm trying not to scream in this one. I'm still getting used to this YouTube thing. I also noticed that I wasn't looking at the camera in the first video, but now I'm looking at the camera, so hi, you guys. Um, <laughs> let me describe what these phases are for y'all. So the first phase was the introduction period of the program. We've had a couple of professors, but they switched out every two or three days or so. And we went over case briefing, we went over outlining, we went over how to create an essay using the IRAC format, which was all super information. I felt like my brain was just gonna combust with everything that I knew only three days within the program. Only three days into the program, I just knew a lot more <laughs> than I came in knowing. So I've been getting experience with the Socratic method, cold calling, which I will say has been really helpful because is making me feel a lot more confident about going into law school and knowing that I'm going to be called on, knowing that I have to be prepared for that. The first professor that I had, Professor Otero, had actually um, given us a quote. I'm not sh too sure what exactly the quote said, but it was something along the lines of confidence stems from preparation. And I'm like, you know what, you're right, because when you are prepared and you know that you read everything and you know that you know, you have the course materials. Now, you see being called on as, or at least the fear is a little bit more minimized because you feel like, okay, you're getting called on, this is your opportunity to show what you know. I also received some advice from another professor who said that if you don't get every single question right that your professor um, is dishing out to you, sometimes they'll stay with you for <laughs> 30 minutes of the class you know that you don't, you know, don't be too discouraged. You know that you're, you're gonna leave, you've learned something. And I have to keep that in mind, that some of these challenges um, that I'm gonna face in law school are just gonna direct me to just do, you know, do better, come back prepared the next time, or, you know, really just to have a, a growth mindset, which is something we discussed a lot um, in this first two weeks that the, the challenges, what you see as small, you know, failures and things like that are all learning experiences and you not knowing something, you're not getting it right away. Doesn't mean that you won't, you know, it's important to study how you're studying. And I think that in the past, the way that my mindset has been, it's been like, well, 
if this study method isn't working, then the material itself isn't working um, or I'm not working, but it's like, no, maybe you need to just adjust your approach and it's okay for you to have a different method than somebody else. Don't get too wrapped up in um, what everyone else is doing or whatever, whatever everyone else is saying that they're doing. Um, <laughs> and you always find your people. And I'm really enjoying talking to the people that are in this program. I think they're awesome they've really shown me what it what it means to have you know to persevere and you know some of the stories that we share about our experiences with the LSAT and our experiences just on this journey to law school have just been so inspiring we just we'll get on zoom and just like vent we have like a group me and just talking there very lighthearted, sometimes serious just anything and everything and I think that they're an amazing group of people and I'm so glad that I met them I had to cut this video short because I could have talked about them for the last for the next five minutes but that's not what we're here for right now but I do want y'all to know that if you if you join this program if you go into this program you will meet the most amazing people you will feel so inspired inspired by everybody the students the TAs the professors everybody that's here to help you the Dean of the program everybody you'll feel just so inspired by all of them and I didn't even think about that when I was coming into the program. I didn't even think about the inspiration that I was going to get or the talks about mental health and taking care of yourself and just the encouragement that I was going to get. I was thinking about when I come in here, am I going to leave out knowing how to brief a case or am I going to leave out knowing some legal terminology if I'm going to leave out knowing how to better, you know, how to write in a like a write like a lawyer, right? But all of those other things are so invaluable. They're just, they're amazing. So if I sound like I'm tired right now, it is because I'm tired right now. <laughs> it's actually because it's actually 3.40 a.m. in the morning and I have class at 10, but so it's like, really Lauren, you should go to sleep. But I wanted to get this video to you guys because recapping the events after the fact is a lot different than you telling the events while they're happening and I wanted to be in it. I wanted you guys to see me in it. <laughs> so here I am making a video at 3.41 a.m. So um, just to go back over it, this first two weeks, the first two weeks that I just finished was a precursor to the last two weeks. And y'all, you have to do your work because Miss Bernetta Hayes, who is the program director, I think, she said that they were making cuts. She said that. She didn't say it like that. She said basically you have to pass the first phase to get on to the second phase. So, and there aren't there aren't a whole lot of assignments that you do have to um, as far as the first phase goes. There are more assignments in the second phase, but it's more of they say, you know, law school is is more of the exams and all of those other things like briefing outlines are really for you, but you do want to come to class prepared. And you have to exercise a whole lot of self-discipline, which is another thing I'm happy about in this program. I'm exercising self-discipline. Not right now because I should be sleeping. I'm not. But I stayed up for plenty of hours doing all of this, re all of this reading. So this is kind of like my reward, like getting to talk to y'all is my reward. So my schedule for tomorrow will consist of constitutional law, I believe, from 10 to 11.15. And then a 15-minute break, then 11.30 to 12.30. And then I will have a break after that for lunch. And then I'll come back sometime around two, I think. And I'll have legal writing. So the legal writing class is for the entire duration of the four weeks. Constitutional law is for the next two weeks. And then after that, I'll have contracts for the last two weeks of the program. And we already have the syllabus, the syllabi for all of these classes and all of the readings so I'm gonna try to figure out some type of schedule this week I just bought a calendar I don't know if I can show you guys Ugh. oh my god oh my god it's a lot it's a lot of work uh, my ring light showed up but I just bought this like white work calendar because I want to I think I'm gonna write down like well I might not write down what classes specifically because there aren't that many classes um i'm gonna write that into like a digital sort of format digital calendar but i do want to write like a reading schedule um you know just so i can prepare for the next classes you have to come prepare you have to come 
having read and taking notes and pulling out the key terms and pulling out the terms that she don't know and research all of that. So I'm excited. I'm excited for the work. I'm excited for the challenge. So anyway, I'm going to sleep now. I'm going to see y'all later. <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, good morning. It's the morning time. I do have the sun kind of like shining in here. Oh, that's better. <laughs> um, I have an exam. I have my first exam with Cleo in like a couple of minutes. Um, you know, we are virtual, so I had to get this. I got this quick video in to try to kind of hype myself up. I do feel like I prepared. So, um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Um, I will say that I, I'm not going to do like a, a little video about how I feel about the test right after. I'm going to wait until those grades come out. I, I don't really like, I don't, I don't think I'm really that student that likes to talk about how, oh, how, you know, how I feel about it, like, you know, right after, because I'm such an anxious individual that <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't really want to feel anything about it right now. I just kind of want to wipe my hands clean of it for a couple of minutes before I come back and regroup. So anyway, just wanting to share how I'm feeling just so I can, who knows, maybe when I get to school where I can look back at this video, like, do you see how excited you are to take a test? <laughs> like, okay, bye y'all, I'm gonna go take it. You're gonna go take it. Hey y'all. It's Lauren again, and if it looks like I'm really dolled up, it's because I am dolled up. Today was my clear graduation, so I have matriculated through the program officially. Thank you. Okay, glory to God and to my cohorts because they were amazing and to the professors and everyone that got me through this. So I actually got a gift. The, the graduation was on Zoom, and so we had the administrators, faculty, um, professors, a cohort. We all got to say, um, we all got to say some words after our name was called. I actually, we had a student speaker, and I'm not gonna lie, kinda wanted to be the student speaker, but, and I was hating a little bit a while ago when, you know, told this guy, look, you, you snubbed me. You snubbed me for student speaker because you must have you must have voted for yourself because I'm pretty sure that all the votes were supposed to be for me. I'm calling a recount, okay? But anyway, I can't be mad. I like the speech, so who knows? Maybe one day. But then again, you know, I'm going to law school. I'm going to have all the time in the world to speak, right? Right, okay, makes me feel better. So anyway, here is the gift that they gave us. They ha actually sent it out a little while ago and it says do not open until Cleo PLSI graduation. Uh, if you see writing on there, it's because I draw on things and I'm bored. But, um, <laughs> so let me take out some of the stuff. They got us a blue book. They got me a blue book. I love it. If you know, if you know, you know. The blue book is the Holy Grail. It is the Bible. Okay. So, um, can't wait to use this all through law school. They said, look, we got you guys the newest edition. I know that's right. Okay. So, next, I have my certificate. My certificate that I already bent up a little bit. I feel so bad. But, look, okay. It has my name on there, Certificate of Achievements, Official Completion. Love it, love that. Okay, next, my favorite part. They gave me a pen. They gave me a pen, I love pens. I'm gonna use this on my, it says Penn State Dickinson Law. I'm going to use this on the first day at Emory Law School, I'm gonna come in my, my pen because I'm proud of this pen. I worked for this pen, okay? I do feel a little bad that I haven't updated. I have not updated for the last two weeks and I was taking contracts law, so that was the final class. Um, I still had legal writing. The legal writing was the full duration of the four weeks, of the last four weeks. Um, and then 
we had drafted a memo y'all i did a predictive memo so i really like that exercise kind of is you know introducing me to some of the things i'm going to have to do in law school and i think that having it now kind of eliminates the fear of being assigned something like that in the future and also i have to keep in mind that i have so much more time to work on things and so to be able to pull some of this stuff together within a six week span um i'm excited i'm excited for law school okay so the last two weeks i had contracts law i had professor Bedisi. he was amazing his teaching style was great i felt like when I woke up in the morning, I was going to be engaged. I, I, I wasn't you know, tired, I was ready, I was excited for his class. And I think that I really, I really like how we're being exposed to all of these different teaching styles because that's what I'm expecting classes to be like. You know, you won't have the same professor and so you have to adapt to these different teaching styles and these different requirements and knowing that I can do it because I've, I, you know, because I've, I've had that little precursor, it's just kind of like, it's that boost of confidence and I love it. I actually had my last final, that was my contracts law final today, um, this morning, and then I had the, I had the, I had the graduation at 5 p.m. And, oh, another thing that I did in the last two weeks, I argued on a sample moot court, so, we had set up a moot court and then I argued for the respondents and I, would, I went up against the petitioner's counsel and I thought it was really interesting just to go alongside my classmates and, and work through some of the arguments and how to construct an argument before a judge and, and during peer reviews and that was just, it was, it was a fun experience. I won't have my grades yet. Um, because it'll take, a, it'll take a little while for the professors to grade all of their responses. I'm trying to decide if I want to upload this video before I get the grades. Because I'm really, I'm really like, I want to upload it now. I want to do it now. Um, or if I should wait until I, I get those grades and then upload the video then. Which makes more sense, but... I want to upload it now. I want you guys to see the video. I think I did really well in the classes. I think I did well throughout the program. I think my, my main takeaways are to have that grit and to establish that mindset that I can do all of these things I set my mind to if I apply myself, if I'm working hard, if I'm reading as I'm, as I'm you know, supposed to, if I'm being exercising self-discipline and when I get to law school, these are skills that are, that are very transferable, skills that I'm going to want to apply to my law school journey. So as you guys know, I talked about it. We have, the my cohort has a group me, I'm sure that all the cohorts among all of the years, have, across all of the years have made a, a group chat of some sort. And we just, we talk and we laugh and then we get serious and we talk about the work and I like that we can kind of fluidly go through all of these different um, experiences. And so we actually schedule a little Zoom after party. We, we schedule a Zoom after party for the, co the cohort. And it was really fun. We vibed, listened to music, we talked, and we debriefed, okay? And I think that is so important to have people that you can debrief with, experience, you know, any, any fears or any anything that you might be feeling going into law school. We talked a lot about how impactful this program was. I thought that this was, I thought it was amazing that, you know, we could bond over learning challenging material, um, first and foremost. These people I, I've been able to, to learn challenging material with and make it fun and make it enjoyable and make it something that I wanted to get up and do. So shout out to y'all because y'all are the real MVPs. I might post a little, a little, a little snippet, a little snippet of the graduation, but you will only be looking at me. I didn't want to record anybody else. I also feel like I, I didn't want to record anybody else. I don't know if I could do that. Um, I was just like, you know, safe and sorry. So I, I recorded it myself, but you can hear, you know, the background. I also recorded my little, my little piece. I said thank you to my mom and dad. Thank you guys for 
making me possible, making me, you know, supporting me and helping me through this. It's all a team effort, okay? It's all, it takes what? A village. Anyway, those are my takeaways. So if somebody is watching this that is um, thinking about interested in Clio and would like any additional information that I didn't cover in here, or if anybody has any questions, you can put them in the comments or, you know, I'll, I'll respond. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sure you skipped through it since I just talked and ran my mouth the whole time. We are manifesting an abundance of happiness, of joy, of peace of mind, of success, of, of grit, of power, and, and being empowered and being able to empower others. And we are here and we, we are, we're, we're gonna do it, okay? So if you're watching this because you're worried about your journey in law school, we all, we, we all, we're gonna be lawyers, okay? We're gonna be lawyers. So many faces on the screen. Um, you know, at your various homes and various places. Um, one of the things that, you know, that I've heard echoed already in, in kind of in the introductions and the remarks is, you know, the amazing work that you've done online. And, you know, this is something that you're going to remember for the rest of your lives. You're experiencing Clio. You're experiencing doing it virtually, right? Um, there is, you know, and, and I'll tell you a little bit about my background with Clio. And, you know, I've actually, you know, we hosted a Clio program when I worked at Thomas Jefferson and I worked day to day with students you know, on, on the campus, got to know them so well. And, you know, there was, it was great to be able to see everyone day to day and work with them. And, you know, they built, you know, a bond. But it's also amazing to see you, this group here that has done that virtually. And I think that um, similar to something that I, you know, I tell my, my son, you know, who did his entire year of virtual learning, um, his whole first, fourth grade year, is that you're building a skill set and you built a skill set by doing this program virtually that's gonna help you in your entire life and in your legal career, quite frankly, right? Being able to do things virtually, you know, working with, you know, students and professors and, you know, working with your colleagues, right? Um, you know, the future of legal, uh, of legal practice and the future of providing legal services is taking the turn more to be, you know, virtual, electronic, providing resources to rural areas. So the fact that you've been able to do that and learn in this environment, I think is going to make you an even better lawyer uh, in the future. So kudos to you for hanging in there, for making the best out of, um, you know, the situation and for completing the program. So first and foremost, I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you on this tremendous accomplishment. Um, you know, being here and doing this program uh, is your first step in having a successful law school, uh, successful bar examination, and a successful legal career. Um, and I'll tell you why I think that.